Today I've got the completed version of the EMF detector with the custom PCB designed in Eagle, battery pack, um, mobile, all that good stuff. There's actually two of them. Um, the b batch PCB jobs come in quantities of two, so it's pretty neat to actually have another one to to play around with. Um, the real basic setup, it was from the Make Magazine blog article on Arduino EMF detectors. Basically just put into a PCB with a battery clip for some double A's and you can you kind of have this probe wire coming out at the end there and you can take it wherever you need to go to read your EMF. Um, since there's two of them here, I guess I'll show you. In the background I've got uh, an old zip it here. You can kind of see, see it pick up the EMF coming off the zip it. And I've got an old netbook over on the other side here. This guy, once he gets close, he, the netbook's a little bit better with the EMF than, say, like the zip it. Get some activity there. The sensitivity is not great, but the source code is modifiable a little bit to increase the sensitivity. You can also change out the value of the resistor. Um, I stuck with the 3.3 mega ohm, as in the example, but uh, you can adjust that as, as needed, I'm, I'm sure, without issue. It's also... The probe itself is insensitive to, to touch, so, you know, if you touch it, it's going to definitely pick up some crazy readings. But other than that, it's a real simple project, easy to do, the board's nice and small, I also added the 6-pin FTDI header on the board, so everything's reprogrammable. I did not break out the VCC line, it's a 5-volt system, 5-volt um, at Mega and 5-volt FTDI, so if you want to reprogram it, you need to make sure you have the batteries in, because it's not going to actually get USB power, um, that's just one of the one of the little differences. I didn't filter out my power either um, on the 7805. There's no capacitors on either the input or output. It's just the 7805, so the efficiency might be a little bit different. As long as you stick with normal double A's, there shouldn't be a problem. The bar graph, the LED bar graph, turned out to be a little bit brighter than I was <coughs> expecting. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but when the lights are off, I mean, you can actually, try to turn some off here. You can definitely see that it's a very intense red, a lot more intense than I expect, than I was really hoping for. It's not completely dark, but you can kind of see how how much light these are actually giving off. You can kind of see the red orb around them there. It's definitely a very bright, only 330 ohms resistors for uh, for the actual bar graph. <clears throat> kind of. Other than that, it's pretty simple. All, all the code is posted in the link below, which is also linked to the you know the master article from Make. Got the code, the individual part, build materials breakdown, the Eagle files for the PCB and schematic, as well as a link to batch PCB for the open source already finished complete uh, PCB that's orderable. So, other than that. We're looking to put these together and make it available through my website for sale. The target price range would be probably between 30 and 40 bucks. That way you won't have to deal with any of the the tough stuff and gathering up things and everything like that. We'll just ship you one of these. So that link will be made live when available. Cool. Alright, well, I mean that's really about it. So thanks for watching.